Hey guys, Happy Trees here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Grave Digger. Let's pick this bad boy up. Woohoo! I'm so excited about this. It's a really good weapon. It's comparable with like the Siege Breaker or the Nocturno, except it uses uh, medium ammo. Let's check out the stats here real quick. Uh, crit hit chance starts off at 10%, so that's kind of in the low end, but oh well. Crit hit damage 50, meh. Uh, fire rate 8, so a little bit slower than the Siege Breaker, I think. Range is the same, 4,000. Uh, yeah, let's level it up and check it out then. Alright, so here it is. I want Shadow Shard with it, and uh, I have Affliction on it. And it's kind of weird. Look at this. It's damage down here. That's, that's strange. Different 6 perk. Oh, they're... Damage to afflicted targets up here. Is that different? Uh, no. Okay. It's just in a different spot. That's kind of weird. Normally this would be down here in the fifth slot. Oh well. But these are the perks that mine came with. Uh, I'm just going to leave them as is so I can test it out. And I just want to compare this to the Siege Breaker real quick. Because they're pretty comparable, I think. Uh, the DPS is about the same. And... You see here the bullet damage. This is damage per bullet. Uh, this one's quite a bit higher. Because it fires medium ammo instead of small ammo, we can see the fire rate. Where's the fire rate? It's quite a bit slower. 7.2 versus 10.8. But yeah, the impact is also quite a bit higher. So yeah, this should be fun. Let's check it out. Okay, for my loadout, I'm just going to be playing on Wild Fragment Deadeye. He's an abilities hero. He's not going to have any buffs to assault rifles. And these two guys are for abilities. Um, so yeah, we're not going to be buffing the assault rifle at all. I just want to see how it works all by itself. Just take a little look at it here. That looks really cool. The fire element on it. That's awesome. Okay, let's see how it handles. This kind of goes up a little bit. Okay. Let's try to control that. Yeah, that's not hard at all to control. That's that's not bad at all. That spread isn't horrible. Get back a little farther. That's not bad at all. I was expecting a little bit worse. Okay. Okay, so here we go. With this weapon review, I'm going to just be doing an encampment mission. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a solid weapon. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it can handle at least five encampments. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I really like this, man. It's like the Siege Raker, but with medium ammo. It's great. It did say about something about increased damage and uh, impact, but with a slower fire rate. So I was kind of worried about the knockback, because I would be knocking these husks back a lot but it doesn't seem to be happening any more often than with the siege breaker so that's good my goodness what the heck there's a lot of enemies man what's going on Last warning. just try it. no scope not zooming in uh, One step to extinction. yeah pretty rough it's looking a little rough <laughs> oh oh be bees oh my goodness Heal up a little bit. Yes. Yeah, not zooming in with this thing. It's pretty rough. I would not recommend using it like that. Man, I like this thing. It's good. If I was using the Rat King right now, oh my goodness. <laughs> we wouldn't have been halfway through those enemies yet. Alright, here we go. We got a nice smasher over here. Let's, uh, let's see what it can do against him. 
There's one clip. Two clips. Oh. And that wasn't bad at all. Yeah, I like that. That was pretty strong. And this is just with the perks that it came on. No upgrades yet. It's pretty good, man. Pretty good. But so here's what that spread looks like when you're not zoomed in. Yeah, that's pretty rough. We're all over the place here. So, yeah, you kind of got to zoom in with this guy. With the Siege Breaker, sometimes they get up close to me and I just don't bother zooming in and it works okay. It's not ideal, but it's alright. Uh, but with this gun, I don't think you want to shoot without it. I mean, that's, that's a big spread, man. Really big. I love this. And I was also worried about the knockback. Uh, it says this gun has increased knockback, and and let's get let's get way back on these guys. And see that it just in that time it di it didn't make him knock back at all. There he finally went there. So that's not too bad. The knockback is is kind of annoying sometimes. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. But on assault rifles. It's real annoying if they're at range and you're like trying to get headshots and then you knock them back and they, they do their little stutter step and you can't get a shot on them. Uh, so yeah, we, we're not having that problem really. So that's good. Man, this thing is strong. I like it. We're not getting any ele any elemental camps. What's going on with that? That's kind of weird. But yeah, the fire rate's really good. Uh, damage is good. Man, this is just a solid weapon. I figured it would be. I blew on my gold yesterday on the uh, Rat King. I wanted to try that out. I figured I would. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of a, a letdown. I didn't care for it. I bet other people do, but it's not for me. You're done and can't but this thing, awesome. Next Gravedigger, really good. Okay, damage. well, I only got two minutes left. I'm going to have to use some uh, abilities here. I want to make sure. I want to get the rewards at the end of the mission, at least. Oh, boy. Boy, that's a lot of stuff on this encampment. As you can see, I died already. I'm I'm a uh, I'm just gonna edit that out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on this encampment. Here we go, blaster. Blasters wrecking me. That'll be uh, that's what that was. Uh oh. Don't die. Don't die. Serious. Nope. Oh, 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 okay. All right, here we go. We got one blaster up by itself. That was good, man. That was pretty good. Okay. Come on, 40 seconds. No. What do we got? One more wave? Please, just one more wave. Oh, get out of here. Did I do it? Come on. Search. Hey, we did it. Seven seconds. Okay, I cheated a little bit on that last one. Uh, I talked too much and the time ran out way too fast. But, yeah, it's a good weapon, man. That weapon is really solid. I highly recommend picking it up. Uh, I probably don't need to tell anybody that. Everybody knows that the Gravedigger is an amazing weapon. Okay, so that was the Gravedigger. Um, I cheated a little bit there at the end. I used some abilities. That's because I was walking around the map trying to find some mist monsters. All I could find were 
uh, smashers. There weren't any takers or blasters just off by themselves. So I wasted a lot of time there. But anyhow, uh, that's the Gravedigger. It's a great weapon. Definitely pick it up. I probably don't need to tell you that. Everyone wants the Gravedigger. Everyone, this is like a, I don't know, probably like the most popular weapon in, in Save the World, I would say, right? I don't know, maybe. And I just wanted to look at the impact real quick compared to the Siege Breaker 2. Uh, it's, it's higher, but with the slow fire rate, it, it's not that big of a deal. I figured it was going to be knocking back stuff all the time and you'd be missing a little bit of shots and have to, you know, adjust your aim a little bit. But that re wasn't really the case, so I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, that's good. That's a good thing, in my opinion. But yeah, that was the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.